Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video on Once Human, I'm going to be showing you guys the first boss at the monolith. Uh, so spoilers if you have not gotten to this point, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it really easily. Now, I'm actually much higher level than this, but I went back and crafted lower level gear. So you can see I'm just using a, you know, AKM and a shotgun. We're still in the 200s. Now my armor is a little bit better just because I didn't want to recraft full armor sets. But for this, what I'm going to recommend, I am going to recommend bringing a good amount of uh, ammo. I have about a thousand rounds for my AK and a lot for my shotgun as well. Uh, we're going to be using mainly the AK, so stock up on some sort of ranged ammo, either submachine gun or um, assault rifle is what I recommend. And in terms of armor, I'm going to recommend the raid set. Now this is a little bit higher just because I have this buffed, but you can see the pollution resist on this is going to be higher than actually on this one. I have other stuff, but so, <coughs> so you can see pollution resist is what we're going to be using this for. The base stuff that you start with is pretty garbage in that. So what that's going to do is if you look at my health bar here at the bottom, you can see that little dark blue part. The lower your pol pollution resist, the farther that bar is going to creep, which means you cannot heal your health past that point. So if you have higher pollution resist like me, you can see it's just sitting at that one little point. If I had almost none, it would take my health down to about half or so, and then you wouldn't be able to get that up. So I recommend crafting as much of the raid armor set as you can because that is uh, probably one of the better ones that you can get in this area and basically you get it from these different uh, point of interests you know once you go through them and you get like the the mystical chests a lot of them in this area are going to give you parts or like fragments to be able to craft the raid set here so that's what you're going to want to go into this. So we're going to go ahead and head right in. You'll see all the bosses are marked by this giant yellow monolith emblem, and they all have a teleporter right next to them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to head right in to get started on this boss fight. Make sure you have uh, food and water beforehand, just because once you're actually in there, you don't want to have any debuffs from not having food and water. And make sure you go and uh, check the bags and stuff for just a little bit of extra stuff. In here you can craft any last minute supplies you might have. And okay, gear crate right here. Now these chests they'll reset every day. Possibly sooner than that, but last I heard it was every day. And then to go into the actual boss, we're going to go right in here. Now if you have a team, you can bring your whole team in here as long as everyone has reached the point in the main quest where they've gotten here. But So we're going to go ahead and get this started. There's actually multiple levels of the bosses, but at the moment we're just going to do the first one. And it's just me right now, so we're going to go ahead and do this solo. Now, I've done this both solo and with a team. Uh, it's always been a little bit quicker with a team. I don't know how much of a difference it makes in terms of whether or not you do less damage. But So this is going to be your boss right here. I apologize, the music is a bit loud. We're actually going to turn that down real quick. There we go. That's going to be much better for this. So here's your boss right here. Obviously headshots are going to deal the most damage to him. You can see his health is going down pretty fast. But what you're going to want to watch out for is that Gatling gun. So he'll shoot in bursts. And then when it overheats is when you're going to want to come around and start shooting him some more. Oh, I did not mean to call that guy out. I do not want to use him for this. But you're going to notice that there's these explosive drums around the map as well. So pay attention to those. But at certain points, 
you're going to shoot off his Gatling gun. You can just take it and notice how much damage you can deal really quick with it. Now once he starts to go immune, he's going to go up there. You're going to want to get your gun back out. I always like to come to this side first. It's going to put spawners. Kill them before they spawn something. If you stand behind these pillars, he can't hit you with the rockets. So now we're going to go over to this side. Got that spawn. Bam. Now he's going to spawn back in the middle. We're going to pick up an explosive. He's going to turn. I'm going to throw it right at him. Bam. I pick that back up. And we're going to finish using this. And you can see he dropped his other Gatling gun now. So we're just absolutely breezing through this. So now he's immune again. So we're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to run over to either side. Make sure you're behind between this and him so that way he can't hit you with your miss his missiles. Bam, that one's dead. He shoots his missile. We run over to the other side. We're going to shoot this one. There we go. Now he's going to come back. We're going to grab the Gatling gun again. Although now he has a rocket launcher, so be careful of rockets. I always like to use these things just to hide behind. Grab another one of these barrels. And, oh, yeah, the rockets hurt a little bit, so just be careful of them. But just hide behind these anytime he's doing his little... Gatling gun or rocket bursts and there you have it so pretty quick fight um, pretty simple and then once you come over here make sure you always hold F to use your controller it'll get you extra rewards when you do this you can see he gave me an mp7 some mods so we're gonna take that all right and then if this is the first time you've done it it's gonna spawn a little deviant. It should be, I believe, a festering gel right here that you can get automatically. Make sure you grab that before you leave. And then to leave, you're just gonna come over here and hit G. Sometimes the prompt doesn't appear, but you can just hit G and it'll work anyways. But there you have that. You can see total damage on this was only 32,000. That's pretty quick, uh, not a whole lot of damage. So really easy to do. Uh, I actually did that probably faster than I've ever done. As long as you just keep grabbing his Gatling gun every time it falls and you use those silos to make sure you don't take too much damage from his burst, it can be a pretty easy boss fight. Just make sure you have some sort of decent armor so that way you have health because if you're starting with half health when you get in there because you have too much uh, pollution, it does make it harder because he can kill you in like two hits. So just watch out for that. Um, if you need to get your sanity up, just go rest in the bed. It'll restore it for you over time. But that's how you do the first boss here. And if you have any questions, just let me know below. If you want to see any other videos, let me know as well. Uh, make sure to check out my other Once Human videos. I'm going to be hope hopefully getting a handful of them out in the next few days since the game just released. Uh, and stay tuned for more videos.